remember when you're working with uh, significance tests or for confidence intervals for that matter, what we're trying to say is that the center of this distribution, remember sampling, the central limit theorem tells us that all the samples will fall in a normal distribution around the true parameter. Okay, and we're assuming when, it, when we say that HO is, um, in this case, is that some proportion, the population proportion is equal to 0.15, then we're saying then that's the center. But then to get the standard deviation, we're going to use that, that formula um, P times 1 minus P over N, that's the size of the sample, and we take the square root, and that's the standard deviation. So um, we're going to do 0.15 times 1 minus 0.15 is 0.85. And because we're doing samples of size, we did a sample of size 70. This is how we get the standard deviation. And that's what we divide by when we uh, calculate the z-score. So we calculate that, and that's going to be the standard deviation. Now, we could think about the 68, 99.7 rule. I mean, because it's a normal distribution, all that, those ideas hold. We could just add and fill this in. Okay, so that's a, a sketch of this normal distribution. And then um, if we want to decide, so where is this? So the test statistic, the p hat for this was, let's see here, was um, six failed cancers or undetected cancers divided by 70, which is about 0.086. So if we look at this sketch of this distribution, that falls somewhere in this range, you know, between one and two standard deviations below the 0.15. So we want to figure out exactly, because it's not one of these nice 68, 95, 99.7 rule numbers, we need to figure out that z-score, just like what we did back in chapter 13, or, or whatever the normal curve chapter was. In, in the Moore book, it's chapter 13. So... Um, we're going to calculate the z-score, and I'm going to do the 0.086 minus 0.15 divided by that standard deviation. And that's going to be about equal to...